Australia has solidified its position at the forefront of modern air defense with the successful integration and operational testing of the National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System during Exercise Talisman Sabre 2025. Conducted between July 13 and August 4, 2025, this landmark event marked the Australian Defence Force's first live-fire engagement of NASAMS, a pivotal milestone in the nation's ground-based air defence modernization. The exercise, held at the Bradfield Training Area in the Northern Territory, saw soldiers from the 16th Regiment, Royal Australian Artillery, fire AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles from NASAMS, demonstrating its ability to detect, track, and neutralize aerial threats under real-world joint operational conditions. This achievement not only validated the system's technical performance, but also underscored Australia's commitment to enhancing its layered air defense architecture to address evolving regional threats. The NASAMS program, managed under Project Land 19 Phase 7B, is a collaborative effort between Raytheon Australia and Norway's Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace. Initiated to deliver a deployable, highly networked, short-range ground-based air defense capability, the program saw its first operational milestone in November 2023 with a live-fire test at the Woomera Test Range in South Australia. Since then, the 16th Regiment, based at Woodside, South Australia, has been actively integrating two NASAMS batteries into the ADF's operational framework. These batteries are designed to counter a broad spectrum of aerial threats, including fixed-wing aircraft, rotary-wing platforms, unmanned aerial vehicles, loitering munitions, cruise missiles, and precision-guided weapons. The system's introduction into service has involved rigorous training, equipment familiarization, and participation in large-scale exercises like Talisman Sabre 2025, ensuring seamless integration into the ADF's Joint Integrated Air and Missile Defense Framework. NASAMS is a flexible, modular medium-range air defense system engineered for 360-degree protection across diverse weather and terrain conditions. Its primary interceptor, the AIM-120 AMRAM, provides an engagement range of 25 to 30 kilometers and an altitude of up to 15,000 meters, depending on the missile variant and threat profile. When equipped with the AMRAM extended range, NASAMS extends its reach beyond 40 kilometers, offering an expanded engagement envelope for enhanced standoff protection of high-value assets. The system's advanced sensor suite featuring locally developed CEA Technologies Active Electronically Scanned Array Radars, SeaTac and SELPS, mounted on Hawkeye-protected mobility vehicles, is complemented by Raytheon's ANAAS-52 Multispectral Targeting System and Passive Detection Tools. This configuration ensures comprehensive situational awareness and robust target acquisition. The Fire Distribution Center, assembled by Kongsberg Defense Australia, serves as the command and control hub, enabling seamless data fusion and rapid decision-making across all launch units. The distributed architecture allows remote launcher deployment over large distances, enhancing survivability and coverage in dispersed combat environments with the capability to engage up to 72 targets simultaneously. The live fire exercise during Talisman Sabre 2025 the 11th iteration of the biennial Australia-US-led multinational military exercise showcased NASAM's operational readiness. Spanning Queensland, Western Australia, the Northern Territory, and New South Wales, and extending into Papua New Guinea for the first time, the exercise involved over 35,000 personnel from 19 countries, including Canada, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Japan, the Netherlands, Norway, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. This marked the largest ever edition of Talisman Sabre, providing a critical platform to test and refine joint interoperability and multi-domain warfighting capabilities. The successful day and night operations of NASAMS during the exercise demonstrated its flexibility and reliability, 
reinforcing its role as a cornerstone of Australia's air and missile defense strategy. Lieutenant Colonel James Floyd, commanding officer of the 16th Regiment, highlighted the regiment's efforts in operational testing, evaluation, and integration, emphasizing NASM's interoperability with coalition partners, particularly the U.S. military. Australia's NASAMS is a tailored system incorporating over 50% local industry content, including CEA's tactical and operational radars and Kongsberg's FDCs with production and sustainment supported by Raytheon Australia's Centre for Joint Integration in Adelaide. The program's milestones include factory acceptance tests for the first NASAMS Mark II canister launcher in January 2022, with initial shipments arriving in Australia by June 2022. Earlier in April 2023, the 16th Regiment conducted trial and certification activities near Jervis Bay, enabling hands-on interaction with NASAMS components before their initial delivery. These efforts are part of a broader timeline aiming for initial operational capability by 2023 and final operational capability by 2026, with the 110th battery being the first to field the system fully. As geopolitical dynamics in the Indo-Pacific region grow increasingly complex, the operational debut of NASAM sends a clear signal of Australia's defense readiness and technological advancement. The system enhances the ADF's ability to protect critical assets and forces against sophisticated aerial threats, ensuring greater resilience, operational agility, and tactical superiority in joint and combined operations. By integrating cutting-edge technology with local innovation, NASM strengthens Australia's defense posture while fostering industrial capabilities and international partnerships. The success of Talisman Sabre 2025, coupled with ongoing efforts to achieve full operational capability by 2026, positions NASM's as a critical enabler of Australia's strategic objectives, safeguarding national security in an era of evolving threats.